Holy crap, people. Halo trailer has just been dropped, and I am way too hyped for this. If you saw my live reaction video, you know I am super excited for Halo, obviously, we're this being a Halo channel. This one, I want to give you a trailer breakdown, as well as pretty much everything we know so far about Halo. So real quick, if you guys like these news analysis videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this so I can help keep you guys happy with the content on the channel, keep everyone informed, and hopefully we can just keep everyone happy because Halo is dropped and I am way too excited for this. Okay, as you know, this is the trailer we're gonna do right here. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick breakdown of all the essential parts that you should know about this trailer. There are some nice little Easter eggs, nice little hints here and there about this trailer. I will stop at the crucial parts, but let's start this up going right now. Obviously, this is more intended to be a engine demonstration rather than an actual trailer of the game, hence why uh, we don't really see much gameplay or anything. There's a big emphasis on the environments, big emphasis on the wildlife, like you see right here, with these crazy beefy elk or deer, like they were so freaking buff. It's insane. <laughs> Got some ancient hieroglyphics right here. No one so far has been able to uh, figure out what those glyphs are actually saying right there. Actually, while making this video, I found out exactly what these glyphs mean. I had to refer back to some Halo books. I had to look through some uh, images I saw on Halopedia, getting kind of cross references this stuff because it's kind of an unknown language. But after deliberating and kind of looking over this, I was able to tell that this uh, glyphs do say send nudes. I'm just kidding. I really have no idea what they say. No, near does the internet. Now, this is actually a very important thing to mention right here. Uh, if you guys can hear in the trailer, I will shut up for a second so you can hear. You heard that. There was uh, some Morse code happening right there. Not Morse code. Morse code. Morse is the person who developed an international code for communicating without audio. Morris was a television cat that sold cat food. Red versus blue taught me well on that one. Now someone on Reddit here actually translated that signal saying he slowed it down to a 0.25 speed. You can look up the Morse code key and it definitely says SOS Zeta Halo GRD. I don't know what the GRD stands for, but Zeta Halo is definitely a thing within the lore. There's definitely a, a Halopedia page about it. Uh, definitely will be making videos about Zeta Halo. So that needs its own video by itself. Right now we're just gonna be focusing on the trailer and all the new information coming for you guys right now. I will make a Halo Zeta video though soon because this is definitely says uh, you know, SOS on Zeta Halo. Right here, another person on uh, Reddit here mentioned basically saying that um, Zeta Halo is very different from all other Halos. Uh, saying that uh, this ring was built 100,000 years ago, so it houses life forms from Earth 100,000 years ago. Hence, like the weird rhinos that you saw in that trailer. I want, I'm gonna Google, type in prehistoric rhinos, and look what I found. Boom, right there. Like that looks like the same kind of rhinos you saw in the trailer right there. So that kind of also cross confirms uh, what this person's saying that how about 100,000 years ago, maybe even longer, these are some, we might have seen some prehistoric animals that were on earth, prehistoric people possibly um, that were on earth that were transported to this Zeta Halo ring because this was supposed to be like the Halo ring that was supposed to kind of, um, you know, house life forms uh, for Earth uh, after the depopulation at the fire, ha, firing of the Halo rings. The see, look, here's those rhinos that I was talking about. Those images completely not referencing each other. That was not concept art. That was its own thing. Look at awesome with the textures right there, obviously. Some more like outposts. This looks like it was inside of a pelican. But right here, I also want to mention this other part right here. If you look over to the left side, right over here, you see saying fight for her poster um i can't quite make out like the shape or what else it says right underneath right here and it looks like a shape it kind of, to me it looks like somebody that kind of hunched over kind of kneeling over like that so maybe they're like in hurt to someone in pain kind of thing uh but i did do some reference online and i did see that this fight for her kind of thing I see a lot of times it's I look on Google images and stuff like that and fight look on Google for other things uh, This comes up quite often for earth. You see fight for her fight for her another earth picture fight for her fight for her for mother earth kind of thing So this could be a reference to saying that earth right now is not in the best shape and uh, Basically the UNSC is like be like, you know, we got to fight for earth man because that's you know We got to live fight for the memory or something like that because things are probably not going very well on that planet right now uh, so very important thing to take in consideration here. 
Also, another thing also, you, if you look inside the center console right here, uh, it displays a date. Uh, that's how I found this online as well. Zooming in on it, it's, I mean, it's tough to point out, but it says 5-27-25-60, which I can't find anything directly on this date specifically, but uh, twenty five sixty does take place two years after Halo 5, which takes place in twenty five fifty eight. which I did read on Halo Waypoint, which I'll get into what they said online as well, so you can get everything you need to know about Halo Infinity. Um, but they mentioned that this was a continuation of Halo 5 story. Moving forward, just like some underwater action right here. There's a showing that an abandoned uh, Warhawk inside. Could be a reference to possibly some underwater exploration, possibly. Because, like, why would you bother rendering something underwater when you've never done that in Halo? So, could make some sense here. Also, right here, I want to mention, if you look at these Marines, it might be kind of tough to see on your screen right now. But, I found another vid image right here for you guys. As you can see, the battle rifles that they're using right here are more of the Halo 4, Halo 5 era battle rifles, not like your standard like Halo 3, Halo 2 battle rifle. So this could be like uh, what a lot of people have been kind of seeing, especially with Halo Wars 2, that was kind of a melding of the classic and the new style of Halo art style and kind of bringing those together. And so if they make this look a little more like militaristic style battle rifle, but keeping the same kind of model, I'm all for that. Yeah, I'm, you know, more power to these guys. But yeah, zooming out of this shot right here. That's an excellent shot right here. By the way, I'm not quite sure. By the way, also right here, I want to point out right here that um, if you can't probably see on this video right here, but if you check it out, you can see that there are, well, when I first thought were birds uh, right over here on the right side of the screen and on the left side of the screen. Taking a couple looks at these and kind of zooming in on them, their wings are not flapping. So this either could be just them not bothering to render out something so detailed on this, on this right here, but I feel like if you're trying to show off the engine, you want to go into that level of detail. So my thought is that these are possibly the Sentinels that we used to see back in like Halo 1, 2, and 3. And it's very interesting how everything is converging onto this point, onto this like why we do not know. Obviously, it's probably something major just happened, but may roll out. And then of course, oh, the classic Master Chief helmet right there. Looks a little bit newer than like what you've seen like in previous Halos. But yeah, the Master Chief driving away in a Warhog. Um, some people probably point out the reflection on the visor that you could see, it's of the, of the same Warhog, so there you go. Uh, very classic, like a very Halo 1 to kind of feel with the nature and like these Forerunner ancient uh, structures into the whole thing as well. Um, it's very reminiscent of that, but Halo Infinite coming your way. Hell yeah, powered by the Slip Space Engine. Brand new engine coming for you guys right here. Then this shot is very particular because what does this mean? Because last time we saw Game Master Chief do anything like that was back in Halo 3 when he had Cortona on that chip. Is he going to have a new AI? Is Cortona going to be back on that chip? Are we going to have a different voice in our head? I don't know. Let's see. Also, I feel like this is totally something worth mentioning that Microsoft hasn't said anything or neither did 343 on their web page. But it's a, if you can see on the YouTube page here, that obviously this is the trailer that we're looking at. We scroll down, this is the Halo channel. I'm not trolling you guys, 316, 318K views. If you scroll into the description right here, you can see down below, highlight right here, Xbox One and Windows 10 exclusive. That means Halo Infi Infinite is going to be on PC the day of release, same as console, which is gonna be, for all your PC guys, it's like, oh my gosh, it's finally happening. But yes, Halo Infinite will be on PC. Most likely will also have to play anywhere. So you can play cross-play with uh, your console friends as well as your PC friends. But let's move over to the Halo Waypoint so you get to know more about everything you need to know so far about Halo Infinite. 343 posted up uh, something talking about Halo Infinite because people are going to go into this website like, what the hell is that game I just saw right here? So basically this whole thing just kind of talks about how we're using a new engine, we've heard, we've heard from the community, um, we're doing a um, post-release updates and stuff like that, slip stage engine. And so that's pretty cool right there. They also mentioned in this paragraph that basically this was more of a tech demo kind of thing, not necessarily a gameplay trailer kind of thing to take much of what the game has to say, but more about just showing off the engine and what it can do visually at least, which it does look awesome. Also mentioned here, the new art style that draws significant inspiration from the most iconic and historic parts of the Halo franchise and your feedback, all while modernizing 
and taking advantage of the full power of the new of the Xbox One family, whatever that means. Uh, the new Master Chief helmet directly showcases this art, new art style, which I'm all for that. Like it's looking kind of new, fresh, but classic style, which I can I can go for that. Huge thing here. Next Halo game focuses on the Master Chief. It says right here, the team has heard feedback loud and clear on the amount of time spent playing as Master Chief in Halo 5. In Halo Infinite, the game will focus on the Master Chief and continue his saga after the events of Halo 5. So we're gonna play as Master Chief in a Halo game, which sounds odd to have to reiterate this and make sure this happens, but hey, you know, Halo 5 wasn't the best. Campaign-wise, I mean, multiplayer I thought was fantastic. Another huge, huge thing, 3 for 3 mentions in this post as well, that um, if you remember back in the past, a few months ago, or maybe like a year ago, Bonnie Ross went up on stage, stage and said that there were always gonna be a beta for next coming up Halos. But this one, I think we're getting a little bit better than a, just a beta. We're getting like essentially multiple betas. We're getting flights of Halo Infinite. Much like how they're doing with the MCC, they're gonna be having uh, early test flights of Halo Infinite that the community will be able to play, give direct feedback, much like the Content Insider program for the MCC. They also say it will start out small, then grow big along the way. So that is fantastic. 343 is taking the time for the player base to get their hands on this game, play it, give feedback, and then hopefully mold Halo Infinite into the game we all want it to be. Okay, everyone, so to summarize, Halo Infinite is going to be the new title of the game. Brand new engine called Slip Space. This is most likely taking place on Zeta Halo, which is a Halo ring that was designed to save humanity and uh, from the you know explosion of all the other Halo ring systems being blown up. That this is so this is going to be taking place on this ring with about like animals and wildlife, maybe from like a hundred thousand years ago, maybe even a little older. This game looks like it's going to be taking place two years after the events of Halo 5. I'd really like to hope to see what happens with at the between then and Halo 5. We'll see. Or maybe this could be like the spoiler to the end of the game that we don't know. I don't mean like there's so many different ways that 3 for 3 could take this. But you will, you'll be playing as Master Chief continuing the story of Halo 5 from Halo 5. It's gonna be a melding of the Halo New, the new Halo art style and the classic art style as well. Very similar to what you saw for Halo Wars 2. And there are going to be multiple flights for the M for the MCC, well MCC as well, but Halo Infinite as well. There's going to be starting out small flights for people to test out the game, and then you'll be growing more, bigger and bigger for each flight. Like the, what, exactly what they're doing for the MCC, which I think is the best way to go about doing this rather than having like one beta that's like six months before the game releases and they go, okay, fix everything now. That's, that's way too much for a team to handle, especially for a game like Halo. And lastly, PC Halo Infinite has been confirmed as well, along with the Xbox One. No confirmation on crossplay, but there's gotta be crossplay with this. There's gotta be, it just has to be. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out this channel and this video help more people know everything that there is to know so far about Halo Inf Infinite. And if you want to like more content from this one, like you want to know, let me know where I can improve, leave it in the comment section down below where you want guys want to see next as well. If you want new to the channel, want to stay up to date with all the Halo news coming your way, any other Halo content, make sure to tap subscribe with that bell notification to let you know every time I upload anything awesome on this channel, which is going to be every time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.